Hi guys and welcome to the channel. What we're doing today is we're going to take this image here that you see in front of you. We're going to be overlaying this on another video to see me speaking in the corner on top of another video. And we're going to be using Power Director for this as well. We're going to be, first of all, making sure we've got the right contrast between the foreground and the background. So you see here, I've got a sheet in the background and that is going to be my contrast between the foreground and the background. So you see my foreground is darker, the background is a lot lighter. So now we can kind of distinguish between the dark blue chair I've got, the top I'm wearing, my outline of my face, the dark areas I've got on my face. Now, if we had a dark area in the background, we'll get something that, if you see this here, I've got a bottle of wine. I've got some wine behind the sheet. Now, you see, if I put this wine here, let's get a dark piece of it, and that's in the background. It's very difficult to see where my shirt ends and the bottle starts. So, the software won't be able to distinguish between that, so you need to separate the images. Now this is why they use green screens on a lot of videos. You think what's a green screen for? What they do is they fill the green with another background and this is exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to take this scene we've got here and we're going to put that on another video. So let's not waste any more time, let's get right into it. So we're getting started now with Paradirector. Now the first thing we want to do is the section of the video that we want to be in the corner. We need to adjust it so it is small. So what I'm going to do is produce this in a 640 by 480 video. And click on the start button and then just let this finish producing. Now I've sped certain sections of the video up, this does not represent the speed of my computer at all, this took quite a long time to do, so just trying to get through this video faster. Now once we have the smaller video and it is ready, what we do, we drag this into Color Director, which is part of the, the Power Director suite. We put the picture into the timeline, now the picture's in the timeline, we can adjust it. Now what we want to do is we want to create a motion mask. So we click on the nice little motion mask icon there, which gets us into this menu. This gives us a brush. We, we can brush to where the mask's going to be. So this will allow me to be on the corner of the video. So it allows what can be, can come through the background and what can't. So now we're using the brush here, which can be set in different sizes and we, we're masking out, or rather highlighting the area we want to use as the mask. So we go and fill in all the areas you want, and you'll notice that it tries and works out the outlines for you, which is quite helpful. Now once we've got our mask area, what we do is we need to apply this to the rest of the frames in the video. So once we're happy with the mask, and you, I can, you can see I'm just tinkering with a few bits there, I can then hit this little button here which takes us through and renders the rest of the frames in the video. Now you'll see it's doing quite a good job at that but occasionally it does lose tracking of the outline which sometimes is a bit of a pain because here as you can see where the tracking is kind of lost itself a little bit you have to go through frame by frame to edit this tracking so what you have to do is build the outline again so the software can understand where it needs to follow in order to build the mask so it's just a, a case of trial and error with these things going through seeing if the outline works if the mask generation is correct if not go back change the frames frame by frame and then go forward now this puts emphasis on why your background and your foreground need to have a high contrast so they're very different which is why people use green screens it just does this for you now once we're happy with the mask creation what we do now just check it's all there and it is it is all there we hit this button here 
and that is the inverse mask button so now we've selected the background so the foreground is the bit we want to keep and the background is the bit we want to iron out we want actually that sheet does need ironing doesn't it but we want to basically change this so it doesn't come through the video so what we do we make uh, an adjustment to the exposure we probably want to make an adjustment to the contrast as well just to double check and what we want to do is scroll all the way down here and there is a, a section here which is a, a color replacement tool if I can just find it there it is the color replacement tool so we select the color we want to change and that's white um, I just need to change the tolerance a little bit because it's not pure white so we select it again that's pure white that's better so we select that and then we pick the color we want to change it to this case you want to change it to green and that basically creates the green screen behind me which is what I want now this video is great it's perfect for what I need in power director now so I'm happy with this video we can go and produce this so we click on the production tab and we just go and produce it like we have done before Now once you're happy with the location of where you're going to store this, uh, just give it a file name and start the production process. I will emphasize that this part of the process in Color Director does take quite a long time. So you can start this off, go away, come back, have a cup of tea, um, have some biscuits or something, do some ironing, go out, go on holiday, come back, it might still be here doing this. but. Once it's complete, um, you'll get a video, and we can see the video in the directory. There it is, and we're happy with this video. It's done what I wanted it to do, basically. Now, the next part is to put this video that we've just created into Power Director. So let's delete what we've got in Power Director, and we're going to drag the video in that we want to compile. So we drag the green screen video in. Now the green screen video needs to be at the bottom on Power Director. The, the lower the video, the um, more priority that layer has got. Um, the second thing we want to do here, we want to make sure that the, both of the videos are about the same length in time. You don't want one video to be much longer than the other because it means one's going to disappear and one's going to stay. So you want them to kind of start at the same time and you want them to end at the same time. So here we go. We're going to create a video here and what we so we're going to cut the video here and it's about 355 i think i saw on the um on the video uh on, on the screen behind uh, this one here so we set this to 355 we cut this video to that time and we select okay and there you go they're about this more or less the same uh the same length there okay so now we have established that the next thing to do is to select the green screen video click on tools and then go to your PIP tool scroll down and we want to select chroma key and we want to click on the color picker and we want to select green and then ba that basically filters out green and there you go I am on top of myself there that's quite weird isn't it but that's the way that this works and first thing you'll notice is my my overlay video is quite big so i'm going to go back into pip designer i'm going to select the scale on the left hand side here i'm going to reduce the scale slightly to a size that i am happy with and then i'm going to drag it to the corner of the screen which is where i want it to be and i think i'm happy with that and i'm going to select ok and that is the video that is basically the result we want to get now I am happy with that result so all we need to do now is we need to produce the video so we click on produce and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank the resolution back up to what it should be 1920 and I'm going to um, select all the options I can't select anything there um, make sure it's going into the right directory give it a name and then click on start and that will produce the video 
what I'll do is I'll put the video right at the end of this video after I said goodbye so you guys can see the output and it is the kind of result which I wanted to get as well so that is good so there was just walking down the street and there's Natasha as well <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed that. So we've just gone through that kind of laborious process of creating a video and then overlaying this on top of the video in the corner just to get some kind of speech in there or just narrate or whatever. So I hope that's been useful for you and remember uh, to get like all the, the video prepared before like same length and everything and this is kind of the way that you need to do it so i hope this has been useful for you guys if you've got any comments you please leave me a comment in the video if you like it give it a like big thumbs up um but i hope this video has helped somebody and thanks again for watching guys have a good day let's get started with the video we're going to watch this one video here which is the one for kenya when i went to kenya so there was just walking down the street, and there's Natasha as well. She was a lovely girl. <laughs> um, we were walking towards the building here. But as you notice, there's lots of... There's this problem in Kenya, they don't tarmac a lot of the roads. So the roads there are just like dirt tracks, and you get sometimes some silence but you see some rocks there that put down and the rocks are spaced to kind of fill up the holes there and the especially better for cars to come down but you got nice foliage and nice trees and things and you got lots of rocks on the sides so people can't park and walking down these streets is sometimes a little bit daunting because there's no light at night or anything so this is um like yeah, 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 the street yeah. where we stayed in Kenya and it was a nice place to be honest with you, we were soft catering and the shops were available so you, uh, you got the Yaya Centre just down the road, this is in Kilimani in, in Nairobi and we, we spent a week there and we just like basically chilled out you know, when you look at a GoPro, and did a few things yeah it's like no thank you so this is just you know, basically like walking a, onto one of the main like roads now. so you'll see like the architecture yeah. a lot of people in Looks like that. in um, outside of kenya they think that all kenya is made up of is mud huts but you've got some good architecture here um obviously you've got apartments for sale as well so there you've got like buildings here there and everywhere um, I'd say health and safety is a little bit lapsed sometimes. Um, I saw people building a big, big uh, apartment block and they weren't really using the proper scaffolding techniques. They were just using the pipes for the scaffolding, but they had nothing to stand on. They were just going up and down just on the pipes. You usually put wooden boards on there to stand up on, but they weren't doing that. So yeah, this, you can see that like, this is the main road, so that's tarmac now and we're just crossing the road now and there's no kind of pedestrian crossings for people you just have to go with it but the traffic is quite good at avoiding people so that's not too bad you know here you've got a pavement and you can walk on well, in america it's a sidewalk but we can walk on the pavement here uh, which is good the you don't usually get pavements on a lot of places uh also oh, in a lot of places in Kenya. You're just going to make do with what you've got, but in here, on this video, Nairobi is a, a place which does sometimes have pavements and it does have places for people to walk, it is quite busy, um, it's kind of maintained quite well in some areas, but other places it's not. So anyway, we're just walking to this building now because there was a hairdresser in there. Um, for Natasha. Natasha was um, putting a, a new wig on that she had, so uh, that I bought her. And we're just approaching this building now, and here we go. Uh, you can t well, this is being recorded in my 360 camera, so I'm just basically carrying it as I'm walking along. <laughs> so it isn't the footage has just got me like waving my arms backwards and forwards. So yeah, we are walking towards the building and just going up the stairs now. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the video. 
So um, this is just the one I wanted to use where combining the two videos with me talking on it. But uh, there you go. This is this is how you do that.